Today's video is going to be on the progression of Larry Wills. When I first met Larry, he told me his goal would be North America's number one arm wrestler. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on his potential in the sport. I remember first seeing this video, I think it was on Gigi's channel, Larry versus Thor. So this was 2019. So very little technique at all, just big old bicep being flexed and Thor transitions to a press. Now we have this Kyle Cummings kid and a crazy, looks like a belt for a strap. Yeah, even there, the young man got the false start out, out the gate and then the second start. Still got the hit on Larry, and Larry's just had the horsepower. I mean, he's got... So I'm sitting here watching Larry do my BFR arm wrestling circuit, and we're using the art arm for cable pulls. I do think the art arm on a handle like that is the best way to teach someone how to top run because everything feels comfortable. It allows you to get your cup pronate through, any, in meaning as in you're doing everything you would in a match. Now, you don't feel the pronation, so it's, it's nothing's fighting it, so it's very easy to mimic what you need to do to learn the technique. You, you have some resistance with the, with the cables, Looks really good, and he looks much more natural already doing this movement. Yeah, this is funny. It's the first time we put this 85k cheap band on Larry, and I was going to try to pull him and the band. Uh, I don't think it works out too well. <laughs> now this is what's crazy. I just told you I couldn't beat Larry with the 85kg band. Well. Levon has an 85 kg band on Larry and like I think a couple other bands. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> Come on, don't give up, Larry. So here we are, round one, Schoolboy versus Larry Wills. I had honestly thought Larry had progressed enough since their first match that this was going to be a lot more competitive than it was. So round two in the straps, Larry had a little bit more connection, uh, but Schoolboy had all the right angles and the right leverage to keep him out of his power. But I mean, you could see if, if Larry could have just supinated in. And got a little bit more back pressure. Might have could have made the match a little bit different, but Schoolboy looked very good in his post and pronation or state attacked really well. So what I am noticing here is Larry's wrist kind of looked bit back in the setups and these strap setups and everything. And I think we'll, we'll look further on this video and we'll see he got much better, you know, keeping his wrist straight, not giving up so much in the setup. And you'll see as we go on in this video how much more he progresses as an arm wrestler. But it's still, it's, it's fun to see the evolution. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Go! Wow, that was lightning fast from Schoolboy. It looked like Larry with Baby setting up to try to get into a press or something, and Schoolboy just laid on the back pressure and side pressure and went right through him. Close your hands. Go! Yep. You see him get a little frustrated, but then you see some glimpses of like, wow, if Larry could get into those spots, you can see where he's powerful. So uh, I think we're gonna see quite a bit of. Me. Oh, you had me. <laughs> you had me. I don't believe it. No. Devin kind of just maneuvered him out of, out of that position, but it looked like Larry Devin could have won that one. Then round two, he gets a good pin on Devin pretty quickly. And that's the thing is, Larry, oftentimes in some of these practice pulls, would, would match up well with Devin's left because Devin will catch you, and you let Larry get on his side of the table with his left arm, very strong. Oh, this is exciting. So I remember when I was over there, Chan Shaw was like, "I'll oh, kill him," right? And uh, so Chan Shaw finally gets an opportunity November 19th of 2021 to go over and, and train with Larry. Now I don't know what happened before this or who was hired or whatever, but I remember seeing this footage and I was very, very impressed with Larry. Call it is 100% in an illegal case. <laughs> um, he gets over, Larry stops him in the book, starts dragging him back, and that's probably the most downward angle of a humorous end and give Larry the win here. Or if they don't, they just rob Larry uh, of a perfectly good win. Um, let's see what happens here. But it's gonna get stopped. Wait, this is probably the last of the overall match here. The legend Alan Fisher versus Larry Wills. Now, Alan has a massive hand for a 165 pound guy, but I don't think his arm is gonna match up to the power of Larry at this point. All right, so I think this is probably the last match that Larry's had. Now, going to this match, I didn't see how Leonidas could beat Larry right-handed. The progression of Larry, these recent wins and overall wins, Larry's really made himself into an arm wrestler. Go! And right now it looks good. Leonidas has got such a strong bicep. He's at the back of the pad, back pressured. They're in the strap. Larry's looking good. It's like that pronation of Leonidas is, is keeping him from getting the pin. Larry goes to climb a little bit. He's back inside. Oh, so close. Leonidas looks like he's turning it. So Leonidas went to pin, and it looks like something happens to Larry's arm. But he said it was fine. Go! 
Yep. There's there's no offense from Larry at all. You can see the evolution. You can see him getting better. In that first round versus Leonidas, he looked very good, very offensive. Um, he just got bled out, and then it looked like there might have been an injury. So he lost 4-0 Leonidas. Like I said, I think it's probably some sort of injury. And if it was an injury, he could have mentally been afraid of an injury after that, right? This very last bit of footage we're going to see is him and Ron Bath just kind of practicable. And it's a match that I want to set up here at the Monster Factory. Wow. So they did a couple of warm-up matches, and it looked like they just kind of agreed to go. And Larry was able to pronate through his hand. So let's see what Ron does this time. Okay, so Ron gets the hit. Larry's pulling on him. Ron's on his bicep. Both guys running. Oh, yeah. So Ron's back pressure holds up. If you can't watch this video and be inspired by what Larry Wills has done in such a short period of time, it just shows you consistency, getting to touch so many world-class athletes' hands and learn from the best in the world, what's possible. I'd like to see him break in that top 10 of the super heavyweight, at least in the left arm soon, hopefully in the right arm as well, and just see where he can go from there. Having a little bit of a part of his story is really cool. Being able to spend that time in Dubai with him, become friends with him, and, and watch him soak up so much knowledge for arm wrestling is a lot of fun, but it's actually just as much fun to sit back and watch this young man's journey. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell for notifications.